Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to install Thrive Themes on your WordPress site. If you still haven't installed your WordPress, make sure to check out my previous video. Uh, I will add the link above. It's going to be a little circle that swoops in from the right side. Click on that and see how to install WordPress. Super simple step-by-step -step video. Uh, Thrive Themes is an awesome, awesome plugin that includes a variety of tools to supplement your WordPress that will make it much easier for you to build out your landing pages. So if you liked the drag and drop builder from ClickFunnels or Unbounds, and you liked that easiness, that ease of use, um, Thrive Themes is perfect because A, it's much cheaper than ClickFunnels or Unbounds. It's like $20 a month if you sign up for a year as opposed to $100 a month. And the biggest thing is, the biggest benefit that it integrates with WordPress. So WordPress has a bunch, a bunch of useful features, plugins, integrations that ClickFunnels and Unbounce and all these other landing page builders do not have simply because they are done with the, with the intent of making it as easy for you as possible. Whereas uh, WordPress is done to give you as much control as possible. Yes, it's not as easy, but Thrive Themes makes it much easier, okay? So if you uh, go to thrivethemes.com or use my affiliate link in the description, um, you will have access to all these different tools. We will be using the Thrive Architect mainly, that's the drag and drop builder. Uh, Thrive Builder, we will be building out a theme and I'll show you how to install it on your WordPress. Um, Thrive Leads is like um, you, you know an email autoresponder, but you're gonna get all these options here. And if you scroll down to about, uh, about 60% of the way, uh, you know, you will see it's only 19 bucks a month as opposed to 100 bucks a month. It is paid annually. Uh, you could pay quarterly, but still much cheaper. Okay. So once you're ready, click on add to cart. All right. With whatever plan you want, uh, sign up, enter your, you know, enter your card details, all that good stuff. Um, and I already signed up. I'm already a member. So I have, you know, my dashboard here and all my products. Um, so the first thing you will have to do is install this plugin. Okay. We're going to download this plugin and upload it in our WordPress. Okay. So once you sign up, once you buy from here, from this page, I showed you, you will see a page that looks like this. Don't worry about all these other features, like our product, stuff like that. You know, this is university where like you can learn more about thrive themes and all that stuff. Uh, but we're just going to click on uh, download manager plugin. Okay. So we have it right here. So let's go back into WordPress. This is a plugin. So we're going to go here. We will click on uh, add new. And now we have to import this plugin here. So we're going to click on upload plugin. We're going to choose file. Um, what is this? We're going to go to downloads and we're going to select that. We will click on install now. And what this is going to do is it's going to smoothly integrate now. Uh, WordPress with Thrive Themes is going to integrate them together. You will see a Thrive Themes option here uh, on your left hand side and every page will be editable with the Thrive Themes builder. So let's click on activate plugin because we've installed it. Now we want to enable it because you can disable plugins. And we should see a little option here. Uh, there we have product manager. Okay, so let's click here. Um, we have to integrate the two. So I'm going to log into my account. And because I'm already logged in on another tab, it might just work without me having to log in. Yep, so that's fine. So here are all the products that you have, okay? You might not need all of them, you might. Um, you know, that's up to you. What we want to do is we want to install this shapeshift here for sure. We want to install the lead so we can gather emails and we want to install uh, Architect, okay, for sure. All of these other ones, they are kind of optional, but they will be something that we will be going over, okay? And let me know in the comments below if you want me to go over about on, on any specific topic or if you're having issues with any specific section. I'll try to make a video on that. But what we're gonna do, you know, just select these. Um, I don't think we're missing anything and let's click on install, okay? And now it's gonna install all these three um, components to our WordPress site and I will show you how to kind of play around with them and how to um, use them, thrive, Theme Builder allows you to build out a custom theme. Pretty cool, I'll show you. Thrive Architect allows you to use the drag and drop builder. And Thrive Leads allows you to integrate smoothly with an autoresponder of your choice. 
I use GetResponse. Check out my GetResponse playlist if you want to learn um, how to use GetResponse. But that's the plan. It's going to allow you to smoothly integrate. So this is an excellent addition to your WordPress blog that makes it much easier for you. For those of you that are saying, oh, well, I love ClickFunnels because it's so easy to use. Well, you can use Thrive Themes because now it's cheaper and it integrates with WordPress. That's the main thing. That's the main benefit, I would say. So I'm going to probably pause the video for a few minutes, wait until this loads, and then I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it just took a minute or two. Everything is installed now. So let's go to the Theme Builder dashboard <clears throat> and give it a second to load. But now you can see this, there's like this nice smooth integration in place, okay? And I will show you now how to edit the options. So when you click that button there that we just clicked, you will be taken to this shapeshift theme. So this will allow you to create a custom theme. So you don't have to look at the, you know, all the different themes and choose which one you want. You create a theme based on all the different elements that Thrive Themes is going to present to you, okay? So let's go through this and then I will show you how to actually drag and drop and work with the pages. So you're gonna click on get started. The first thing you would do is upload a logo and it's just gonna use this as like a placeholder. Uh, we're just gonna leave it at that. For now, we can upload the logo later. You can always return back to this wizard. So don't worry if you are, um, or if you made a mistake or if you think you'll change something, you can come back to this, okay? So what is the brand main color? For me, it's tealish. So I will select this color, a little bit darker, maybe something like that. Oops. And I'll click on apply, save and continue. Okay, so now on the left hand side here, that's the list of everything that you will be able to change. Okay, and over here is where you select the actual kind of template for this specific element. Okay, so for that header, okay, for this header here, which is like your navigation bar, what do you want it to look like? That's the question. So we're going to select this and you can choose from all these different options. Okay. So let's suppose you want something like that. It's going to look like this. You can click here and change it to have a little blue background or teal in our case. Um, you know, select something that suits you. I mean, these are really pretty much the only kind of possible variations of having, um, you know, like a navigation bar. Um, so just pick something that you like. I actually like the first one. Okay. So once you do that, let's click on choose and continue. And now it's going to ask us to customize the footer. Okay. So, um, what is it saying? You can choose the footer from the top drop. Yep. That's okay. So over here again, we have the choice. Um, it depends on what your background is. If your background has a color, maybe the white one will work in our case. You know, um, if we have a white background, I don't like a white bottom, even though that still looks good but I would prefer maybe something a little more gray. Like that looks good, I like this. I like that, right? So let's select this one. And now this is our footer, okay? So we'll click choose and continue. And now what do you want to display on your homepage? So do you want to choose from a ready-made like homepage template? Do you want to use one of your existing pages that you have as your homepage? Or do you want to display your blog as your homepage? So we're going to choose from ready-made homepages just to add a little spice to it. And again, we can go over here and we can choose from these few templates here. Okay. So let's see, let's, let's see what this looks like. Now you can customize these later on. Okay. So don't worry about, oh, well, I, I'd like this button up here. We can do that. Okay. But this is just a theme. So let's say. So this, this is kind of similar to what I have on my site, or at least what I will have very shortly, uh, where I'll have an email submit. I will be giving out a free kind of introductory affiliate marketing guide. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be out soon. Um, yeah, well, the only thing is I don't like that guy there because I want to like promote like a business or something with you guys, right? Because we don't know who that person is. So let's look at this one. Although it does have, oh yeah, so so see how it takes our color, like our teal, and it just changes, makes everything around our color. So we can do this. Um, sure, that works. Okay, so let's keep it at that. It's not centered around this guy. It's centered around the method, and this guy's just showing how to do that. So that's fine. We'll click on choose and continue. Okay, so this is our single blog post. So when someone actually clicks on your blog post and reads it, what do you want it to look like, right? Well, like, what's the template you want it to look like? And we have all these options here. So we have like this 
uh, you know, smaller picture now. The other one is a big picture. Um, we can have something that looks like that where you have the title here, right? And if you if you pay attention, right? So first of all, this looks pretty good to me. Like, I love the way this looks, right? This looks amazing. This looks really modern, really incredible. They've done a great job. Like, this looks great. Um, what I was going to say is that this looks like a modern blog. Like, if you go read a blog, like, this is what they look like, right? So they picked up some, you know, top-level blogs, and they took the templates from there and added it here, okay? So really easy to use. So I do like this one. Let's click blog post list. So here's the list, okay? It's gonna be right there. So we can we can have like text only, where you have you know blog post here, a blog here, a blog here. Um, can add some images. So I do like this one, where it's gonna have all your blog posts here. You know, and 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 just play around with this, see what they look like. But they make it easier for you because they look at each individual section first with you, right? So that's what this one's gonna look like. So. When you have more blog posts, you will still have a sidebar here, but you will have all the blog posts here. So let's keep it at that, okay? Let's go to next. Uh, so this is the page. So the other one were blog posts. This is an actual page. So what do you want your page to look like? Because remember, we have the posts and we have the page, right? So let's say at all of our pages, we want them to look something like this. Let's see if this looks good. I do like this because it has, you know, get a free sample. So, so, so I really like this actually. This looks great. Uh, so let's click choose and continue. Okay, so header menu. Um, so we don't really have anything right now. So we'll just leave it at, you know, that because we don't have a menu set up yet. We don't have a footer menu, anything like that. Um, so we can activate menus. Let's see, it might take us back to the, um, yeah, so no. So that's fine. We don't have any menus yet. So we can't really choose like a menus um, your pages that you added into a like into your navigation bar right and you can have different options we don't have that yet so we're gonna leave that but that is pretty much it so if we preview our website uh, this should look exactly like we set up so like over here sample page right and this is like that's what our page looks like youtube tutorial.com remember that's the domain that we bought and sample page so let's go here. Uh, so we're good. So we might have to watch this video. Let me see. I don't think there's a way to um, close out of that. So we might have to click here. We just finished the wizard. Uh, let's see if he uh, tells everything. Change no, them. so he just tells you. Okay. So I think we're good to go here then. So we can go back. Um, let's see. We don't want to restart the wizard. Looking for the wizard branding. Okay, yeah, so that's it. So it, it is saved. Um, you don't have to hit save here. I was looking for a little save button at the bottom, but I remember that's from um, that's from the um, uh, architect. So that's from the dra dra and, uh, drag and drop builder, not from this, okay? So all of this is saved, but you can go back into any one of them anytime and change it up, okay, as you want to. Uh, so we're gonna go back here into our products, our Thrive Themes products. And again, we can install everything. But what we want to do is let's go, for example, into all pages, okay? And I'll show you how to now use the editor here. So here, by each of these, you will see it say Edit with Thrive Architect, right? So this is our blog post. This is our posts page. You can't really edit it. Uh, but let's see, for example, so the home page, right? So let's edit this. So the home page is just this page, this one. Okay, so let's suppose we want to edit that. So we're going to click here. Give it a second to load. Okay, so it might not, um, there you go. Okay, so it didn't update yet, now it does, it's fine. Um, so what we wanna do here, this is gonna be our drag and drop editor. So like I said, here was the, you know, this is the template, but you can go in and you can edit it and you can make changes, whatever you want to. Uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth right now. I'll do that in another video where I'm gonna build a full out landing page with you from scratch with Thrive Themes. Uh, but in here, let me just quickly show you, if you click on the plus sign here, okay, I want that, plus sign here, you can, you know, here's your drag and drop builder, okay? So I love that, just like in ClickFunnels, but now it's integrated with WordPress. And you can add, so for example, text, you know, you want to add more text above here, you add that there. I'm going to delete that. Uh, here's all the formatting. So if you select this, for example, you want to format it, you do that, you click Save Work, and that's pretty much it, okay? So this is the Thrive Architect. Uh, the other one was the Thrive um, Theme Builder, <clears throat> and uh, we have the other one, which is the uh, Leads, okay? Which, again, I'll get into that in later videos, but I just wanted to show you to use this. Click on this little plus sign. 
you can add elements or just click on you know any specific element and you can change it you know over here that's what that looks like menu options um, yeah so if you edit header it should um, take you back to kind of allow you to change these specific parts here so lots of customizability uh, we'll click done to get out of that and just scroll through these right like go through them like over here all these options here it's a lot so like I said I will make a separate video but that's pretty much it okay so we can save work and let's uh, well we've already exited um, so we are gonna click page here okay so it just opens it in a new browser let's close all that okay so anytime you want to edit a page click on edit with thrive architect it's gonna open a new tab and just edit it there click Save and it's gonna be live okay so let's take one more quick look at our website um, what was our site let's go into general let's copy that let's paste it let's take another look and see what it looks like okay there you go now none of these work okay obviously so we have to play around with it um, and make them work make them the correct navigation take them to the correct link but you've successfully installed thrive themes props to you congratulations you know you've like this installing wordpress and installing thrive themes is um, a whole beast of its own uh, so congratulations on tackling that awesome job uh, if you guys have questions or you want me to make a video on something else something specific let me know in the comments um, other than that thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out my video on how to promote products uh, how to promote affiliate products on google ads okay so i'll put a link up above other than that thank you for watching i will see you in the next video